how to move from laziness to full energy, to being fully energetic and charged and enthusiastic about life and about what you can do or what you can make out of it. This is such a wonderful shift and such a huge one. I personally have struggled with this for so many years and I'm sharing with you the tips that I've learned that have really taken me away from laziness, which I suffered from for years and greatly and immensely. And it took me out to really start working on my goals and achieving them one after the other. There are so many things you can learn about overcoming laziness and achieving your goals. But this tip is actually so central that it could create a huge shift in your life and in your productivity levels. Laziness is the result of thought. It's not as a lot of us feel, oh, I'm lazy, as if I'm born lazy, or I was designed lazy, uh, lazy. Allah created me lazy. Don't shift the blame. Don't throw the blame on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or on your parents or on your genes or on your culture, okay, for your laziness, because that's injustice. You don't actually feel lazy, you do laziness. Laziness is a verb, it's, it's, a, it's an action that you do, okay? It's something that you have to do some work to get it, okay? And being fully energetic and fully enthusiastic and active is also an action or a verb that you actually do it, okay? So moving from laziness to uh, enthusiasm Moving from laziness to productivity is actually about changing your thoughts. Changing your thoughts because your action of laziness, I'm not saying your state of laziness, but your action of laziness because you're doing laziness. Your action of laziness is a result of a thought in your mind. When you are lazy, you're not focusing on the good stuff. You're not focusing on the important stuff in your life. You're just focusing on something that is not important, some, something that doesn't really concern you. You're just focusing on the minor issues, okay, on the margins, but you forget to focus on the most important things in your life. So your laziness is usually a result of focusing on your fears. What? Because you want to do something, but you've always, you're always anticipating what could actually happen. I could fail, you know, some obstacles could come up along the way, or maybe I'll do this, but it won't work out. What would people say about me? And so on and so forth. So you're thinking about the obstacles, but you're not thinking about what you want to do, or what you should be doing, or what you must be doing if you truly want to do something of importance and significance in your life. So if you're not thinking about what you want to do, you're just thinking about what could happen, what could go wrong, you're absolutely giving yourself the instructions and the commands to be lazy and stay lazy. But if you focus on your goal and you focus on the beauty of your goal and you focus on the glory that you create by achieving your goal, if you focus on the difference you make in your life and the life of other people in this world by achieving your goal and fulfilling and reaching your full potential, then there will be no space for laziness in your, in your life because that kind of thought fills you with enthusiasm, energy and power and determination. Whereas thinking about the obstacles, thinking about what people might say about you, what, what people might think about you, okay, that's going to make you lazy because it's going to create fear. It's going to create hesitation. It will just give you the message, it will give you the thought that it's not worth doing it. So your mind will respond to you and will actually give you or will hold you back under the pretext of laziness. But it's not laziness. It's not, you've created it, it's not a state. You created it by your own thoughts. So shift your thoughts, focus on you wanted, on what you want to achieve. Focus on how valuable it is. Focus on the great consequences that will come out of it. Focus on the wonderful fruits that will come out of you achieving your goal after having worked on it, after having put the time and the effort and the dedication and the discipline and, and, and the grinding in the process then there'll be no, no place for laziness in your life. You're, even I'm telling you, you'll, even, you'll wake up early and 
and, and you'll even go to bed late sometimes just because you want to work. You say, I don't have time for sleep. I don't have time for rest. I don't have time for food. I don't have time to do anything because I'm so focused on my goal. So the whole thing is about thought. And the way to control your thought is to control your attention. Focus your attention. The more you think about what you want to do and how great it is, and what great the consequences are, uh, the consequences are, and how competent you are, the more likely you are to engage in it and never think about the obstacles. And then you will be full of enthusiasm. But if you focus on what could actually go wrong, okay, or what what the negative consequences could be, definitely you're going to put yourself and place yourself in that state of laziness. You'll be doing laziness. So do away with laziness, focus on your goal, put your trust in Allah and march to your goal and never give up until you win, until you achieve it. That's the only way to do it. And I'm, I promise you, laziness will completely disappear from your life. Well, practice this as much as you can. Share it with your friends, with your family, with everyone you think who could benefit from it. And if you like the video, don't forget to press the like button. Until we meet with another video, I leave you in peace. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you.